Today I'm doing a test pour because somebody asked me, what about if you don't add any silicon to the paint you're using and you just do you get cells? And I had to answer truthfully, well I haven't actually done just an ordinary pour that I would do pour and swipe and not add silicon. You know, even though I only add when you once a drop of silicon to you know Helmar because it's really uh, reactive and, and brilliant I love that one so today I'm using my Montmartre studio acrylics in different colors and I'm using the Montmartre clear PVA because I've just um, recently using more of this than anything I was using the Almas glue all but obviously it's very expensive to import from the US so I've found that this is really really brilliant uh, just as good um, as the Almas glue all uh, maybe even so leaving the dried finish even brighter maybe because it is clear I'm not sure so I mix that with 70% um, glue 30% I, ha I had quite warm water and then give it a good shake and then leave it to actually before I mix it with my paint and then I just add it to my paint slowly until I get the consistency that I want for a particular pour which is so this one is I'm not sure if just leaves a little trace I call it pouring cream because whenever I've used pouring cream it's just a little bit of thickness in it but it's not thick and gluggy so for a swipe that's what I'm going to use so for this test today I'm using as I said the Montmartre paints I'm using this uh, craft glue and I'm using my magic wand that I um, was sent to give a try out well, I'm certainly not sending it back because it's absolutely marvellous. It's a heat tool, um, so good for using instead of the big butane torch, which so many people um, are worried about using and so many comments that I've got over the year, year that I've been doing. Well, I haven't actually done my YouTube channel for a year, but you know, oh, you're burning your paint. Oh, you're gonna cause a fire or oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, but anyway I thought this would be a lot safer not only for me but for people that are nervous about using the gas so and I found it's absolutely brilliant one um, negative Nana said oh what about the cord you'll get the cord in your paint or you'll knock your paints over with it will you, you've got to be you know well, what, what's the word in it's it's uh, not the tool it's the user or the tool that's using it um, you just hold your cord here I've got it on an extension lead you just hold your cord back with one hand and you go over with the other it doesn't touch anything it's not a problem it's you know idiot proof actually idiot proof but there you go and so you don't knock your paints over, you do what I've done. I've got them on this little, um, I just used a piece of, um, what you call this? White stuff. <laughs> uh, oh my God, I can't think of, polystyrene. Yeah, so I just got it from packing. And then I used whole saw, cut out different, that's for smaller cups, that's for larger cups. And then on the bottom, I just pushed in four push pins underneath so it holds them up and holy dooly the paint cord cannot knock your paints over you'd have to be whipping it whipping it so there you go that those are the two comments that I've had written on my you know or you'll knock your paints over oh the cord will go in your paint I think it's far worse that you set your house alight with a butane torch or you set your painting alight and then yourself alight. Um, butane torches are fine to use. You have to have a fire extinguisher in your workspace and you definitely have to be competent and confident in using them. 
this just takes it all out this little one doesn't overheat or anything I find that if I keep going over it it does obviously then start to heat and make the cells reactive and it certainly hasn't dulled down any cell reaction or anything so um, it's no problem I know with everything that us acrylic artists on YouTube put out there there's always the negative Nancy's or negative nanas or negative nutters that have to you know say the negatives and don't look at the good uh, that out the good outweighs the bad so that's just my little opinion on that so what I'm going to do today I'm going to do this canvas I'm going to do the same colors on both sides I'm going to leave a gap I'm going to leave a gap I'm going to swipe one I'll do the swipe first that has got no silicone in it and then I will add one drop of silicone so I want you to be able to see you know if there's any different effect from having silicone in your uh, paint or not having silicone because some people you know will say I'm absolutely not going to use silicone I'm not I'm not I'm not um, for whatever reason but anyway so I'm going to do the test for you today or the experiment as you know I love 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 art lab experiments um, and always trying to find new ways so I just want to give you guys the difference so here we go here we go here we go so 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 this side I will do well what I'll do is the without first obviously so I'm gonna just pour away here so these are all the Montmartre this is the brilliant red I'm going to pop a bit of well this was my home I've just made this custom color I call it grape or aubergine um, it's uh, the dark red with added a blob of blue so that's that one really I've got a mix match color and this is just the orange bright orange uh, I'm gonna just put a teeny weeny bit of the um, turquoise which I added a little bit of dark dark blue because I like it to go that bit more towards teal than turquoise I'm gonna add a little bit of white so remember in none of these have got any um, silicone in at all so it will be interesting even for me because um, I haven't done this test before so 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 here we go I'm just gonna give it the tilt so this will tell you guys whether oh we can get along without silicon uh, or no I like it with silicon so I'm sure it will give two completely different looks so we'll just see I'm just tilting it just as I normally would do if I was doing a swipe the my swipe my way it's the old Frank Sinatra song goes my way or the hoi way no that's not how I look at things I have to be amenable to people I... anyhow okie doke so so pretty exciting for me guys pretty exciting so I'm going to swipe with yellow these are actually colors that um, I've been asked to do quite a big canvas with um, really bright canvas so I'm really looking forward to doing that obviously there'll be a video on it as I go along so I'm gonna just use this bright yellow to swipe so no silicon no silicone added only those ingredients so here we go I'm using my trusty plastic file divider which I have loads of them uh, cheap and very good to wash up and reuse I'm quite nervous now to see I'm thinking well if the cells are just exactly the same and no silicon in it will you still add silicon probably because they're just kind of used to it but maybe it's the glue more than anything that makes the cells reactive 
because I know there's like so many people oh, I've tried every silicon I still can't get cells so it might not be anything about the silicon and it may be obviously some are better than others so normally when, when I would do this swipe I would see some cells popping up at this point in time teeny weeny oh well they're probably more air air holes air pockets whatever so I'm going to put my my magic wand on and I've plugged it in see how we go I might do another test uh, another experiment with the magic wand on one side and the butane torch on the other so just to show you the difference teeny tiny weeny whiny cells are coming up just have to go over a few times not in the same area because your little heat wand I mean this isn't an over hot heat one so it's not dangerous and but it does slowly get warmer well, there you go guys certainly not reacting I only have to use one drop of that Helmar silicon okay hardly any 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 cells in that that is interesting so now <laughs> i can add, whether they'll pop through i don't know so it actually is more times nine times out of ten the silicon that creates your cells so what i'm going to do in front of you so there's no you know my magic magic trick what i'll do in front of you is add I'll add one drop of the silicone oil and remembering that with this with this uh, ooh, with this um, paints I usually make up my paint 24 hours before uh, a pour um, and I uh, mix the paints to the consistency of it I then get a damp cloth and then I just put over the whole lot and I also add my one to two drops of silicon oil to the mix and stir really well don't leave it to sit on the top or only stir one or two and I believe that the um, caterpillars that you get in a pour are caused through silicone and not through a heat torch because um, the silicone is what makes the caterpillars and probably sometimes if you haven't stirred well enough um, I'm not 100% sure but I only get caterpillars uh, from silicone so okay we're gonna we've stirred those in stirring Stanley so this will be interesting for you guys and it's interesting for me especially considering that normally I leave the paints as well 24 hours and I haven't done this time I only made these up just before I started pouring so this will also be the test as to um, basically as to what what the difference in leaving your paints as well because I haven't left these or so give them a really good stir try and Put the paints down the same way so we'll go the red go the red beautiful orange um, bit of the grape crimson aubergine whatever you want to call it that is quite interesting though isn't it look at that there's on the where is no silicone whatsoever they're just like pinpricks and I really think that's more just air and not even a cell white a bit of white in there Okay. 
just try and give this a well, this is a test pour so I'm not I just don't want that other paint to run back over this but I don't mind so just a gentle tilt this is my style of um, swiping this is how I do my swipes when I'm doing my particular swipes I don't like just doing straight lines of colors I like intermixing the paints and always have so okay I'm going to it's gonna run down otherwise I will add my yellow and just keeping you all with me this really has not much happened in that whatsoever whether it will or whether it won't but I don't believe it will so here's a yellow for a swipe and people ask me ah winds blowing people ask me also do you use um, uh, silicon in every color and, and don't put it in your swipe I use it in every color I don't distinguish swipe because I make big um, batches up of just paint and then I just keep pouring till they're all gone um, so I don't worry about and it's always been fine and because that Helmar silicon is like doesn't leave a trace on your finished work uh, you just wipe it over once with a damp cloth before I seal it and it's been absolutely perfect so yeah the, the, the big difference that I believe makes when you're pouring is making your paints up 24 hours at least the day before you're actually going to pour I think it gives the paints an opportunity to let's call it marry together to blend together decide that they're gonna work nicely um, that's what I believe but whether it's a true fact I'm not <laughs> obviously 100% sure I can already see see cells popping up not just there are some pinhead cells like there was over here but the cells popping up so we'll do the same with the my little magic wand probably put too much yellow on for a start Go back over that area and see if I can coax any up. No. Come on, babies. Come on. Well, there you go. So, I can answer truthfully now because I have tried it. Not that I tell anyone lies because I don't need to. Um, but I can answer truthfully yes I have tried silicon and I have not tried adding silicon definitely with silicon without silicon so that is something I must take a photograph so to give you the two absolutely I'm so happy that I did that experiment uh, not only for you guys for myself because look at the cells with silicone and a look at the cells without which is basically just little teeny tiny pinpricks so that would be very well if you want to do a background so if you're doing a pour and you're tilting off and you don't want any cells because you're doing it as a background for another particular project so so happy with that actually that it showed you the two different um, yeah options with and without so fantastic experiment I'm happy that I did it I hope you are happy too so it gets it in your mind but I actually get even far better cells than that if I leave I just get a better you know if I leave my make up my mixture add my silicon stir it up and then leave it overnight I get so much better results people ask me why uh, I think I think a lady named Emma explained it all, the science of it all. I'm not 100% sure, but if it was Emma, 
or Nancy that explained it. I can't remember who because I have so many contact me. Um, but there you go. The Haha, I'm just bringing you in on my little... Um, I'd ended the video and was going to end it that way, but I just want to show you. So I will call this bonus bits uh, because it was an, uh, an experiment. I'm playing with the canvas. What I did with those little circles was with the milk brush and uh, milk paint and the brush. So I did those things I've done previous video so now I'm just doing balloon rolls where there's no cells and I just wanted to see what comes out of it so I'm gonna just add this bonus bit to the end of the video so look at this like I mean no cells and it just look it's a kind of a completely different look altogether oh well there'll be nothing through there because remember I didn't put any um, color through the center I just put the yellow so I just wanted to yeah have a play because it was a test canvas and I can do that oh <laughs> uh, that's what guys you've got to make you've got to make it so much fun for yourself just have a play you know lots of people still telling me can't get these balloon rolls just practice just absolutely practice your little hearts out uh, it's fun how vibrant these paints are and I reckon more so because of this uh, Montmartre Clear PVA craft glue um, just getting really lovely results and oh, I am so so happy to find something that's comparable to the uh, Montmartre uh, to the Almas glue all but look at these gorgeous areas that have come out and there's no cells actually popping up normally even in my balloon rolls and balloon kisses I'm getting cells but nothing so you actually don't get the little holes that sometimes appear look in this one you can see little holes appearing and that's through the silicon even though you can as your paint dries I usually put a little balloon dip or it's no big problem it adds to the effect but it just goes to show you that these little holes are created through silicone because that side has got no holes where there was no silicone. So that's very interesting. But just wanted you to see my little play and that is like so gorgeous. I'm quite happy with that. Thanks for joining me again for the bonus, the bonus bits.